I wish I knew this earlier. And it was very embarrassing. It was very bad. Can you reveal how much you're making? Ayo, it's Amy. And Angel. Today we're going, I mean, she's going to, she's the expert, answer your guys' most burning computer science questions. Woo! Including whether you can really make bank revealing real numbers from herself. Please introduce yourself, Angel. I'm currently a CS major at Caltech and I'm her sister. I'm a junior. Does this look kind of familiar to you guys? What did you do in your past few summers? After my freshman year, I did this thing called a surf. It's a Caltech thing where you can basically reach out to any lab that you want or like any professor. You don't have to do it at Caltech either. One of my other friends did one in Denmark. Basically just a 10 week program. I studied ants and beetles and their interactions in a biology lab. So that was pretty cool. After my sophomore year, I did an internship at Khan Academy. If you want to see a day in the life of a Khan Academy software engineer intern, click here Wow. or here. Here. Nice plug. Thanks. What about the upcoming internship? I'm gonna be at LinkedIn as a software engineer again. Internship. Wow. Or if I don't get it reneged. Oh no, sorry. Rescinded. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Huh? We asked you guys to give your most burning questions on Instagram. We're gonna go through them now and we'll get to the spicy stuff about pay at the end. Is comp sci hard? It depends on the person. I think some people probably don't have like that good of a technical or math background and it's like harder for them to kind of think about how it works. Actually, like once you get through that bump, it's not that bad. I think it's just, for example, systems. That's pretty hard for me. I just want to code. Like I don't care about how operating systems work. Even though that's definitely very important. I didn't take any CS in high school and CS1, the basics basics of Python, was so hard for me to pick up at the beginning. But then toward the end, I kind of got the hang of it. So it's really about getting over that first bump, getting that CS mindset. It also depends on what school you go to. Yeah, at Caltech, there's a lot of theory in the very notorious classes, right? You really don't need that to become a software engineer. How are you not dead inside? I am dead inside. I just don't show it because it's on the inside. Just kidding. I don't think I'm dead on the inside because I like it for the most part. And I get to work with friends, so that helps me not be dead. What's the easiest language besides Python? No language. To be honest, I don't really think there is like a super easy language. It depends on each person. Every language has their own annoyances. I've just used like C a lot and Java. So I think between the two, maybe Java. And I also know OCaml. It's like easier to use, but it's kind of annoying sometimes too, because I don't really like functional programming. Ah, nice. So many things you said, I had no idea what they mean. I understand nothing. But sounds very informative. Speaking of C, C or C++? C, because I only know C++. Oh, sorry. Oh, eh. Sorry, I only know C. <laughs> Should I be very good at maths to study it? Oh, by the way, a welcome from Morocco. Yeah, you do need a decent math background. For a lot of the classes at Caltech, at least, it's very theoretical and you do need to know like linear algebra, all those things like Laplace stuff. Yeah, you do need some math at least because it's algorithms and it requires the same kind of thinking. Mm. What specifically do you learn outside of classes for your career? I just like leak code, I guess. That's like the only thing I do outside of classes that has to do with my career. Your career is building through your internships. Every summer is important. Yeah! <laughs> what did the computer engineer say to the linear algebraic equation? What the frick is the linear algebraic <laughs> equation? Oh, I don't know. Wait, is there no answer? No, there's no answer. Oh. Let us know if you know, because we're not smart enough to know the answer to this joke. What is a CS interview like? Why they say interview? I don't oh. know. It depends for each company, but the first thing is you do like a coding assessment that doesn't have any person there. You just take it. If you pass, then you'll do a phone screen. You'll probably just talk to a recruiter. It's very chill. They'll just like ask you about your experiences. And then technical interviews are basically leak code questions, just like solving a question with a certain data structure or whatever, algorithm. Sometimes people will have behavioral interviews to make sure that you're not like a creep or something, <laughs> just to make sure that what you have on your resume is actually legit. Oh, so the hardest part is the technical part, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Well, it also depends because some companies have like super easy technical questions, but then like some of them have really hard ones. Also, I heard that people don't really care about behavioral stuff because I guess you're just a sweet, right? You don't really need to be that like 
personable necessarily that's what my friend said what was your hardest interview experience like it was at a hedge fund very hard very long a lot of people probably know this company based on the details that i'm about to say but it was three hours technical on one day and then the next day was another three hours behavioral which is crazy because you have like three back-to-back behavioral and technical the day before but like why do you need three behavioral that was just like really tough and very mentally draining for me dang what was a specific struggle you had in one of the cs interviews this debugging interview i've never done this type of interview before because really all i had prepared for was leak code kind of questions but basically they gave me this like entire code base and i had to find a bug based on the test it was failing and i have no idea how it works and it was very embarrassing it was very Ooh. bad ptsd it went so bad that in the middle of the interview i actually wanted to just say like can i just not interview anymore. <laughs> Can I leave, please? <laughs> yeah. Do Caltech CS courses adequately prepare you for CS interviews? No. <gasps> <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I've used any of my JK. There was one, it was my freshman year. It's called data structures. Those are very useful for interviews. But after that, I don't think there has been one that's like really useful for interviews. I think it's all based on like leak code essentially, except there were some that were systems questions sometimes for technical interviews. It's not always just leak code style. I think if I focused more on those classes, then I probably would have been better. So I guess they do prepare you but for the most part they don't i would just review mainly leak code but also some like basic systems stuff and stay in school because you still need those classes <laughs> stay in school kids yeah there are some computer science resources i heard that Ooh, i'll put here how did you get your internship Oh my god! Short story is I started preparing in maybe like July, which is pretty early because I wanted to apply to some like hedge funds, trading firms, and those start really early. Leak code, all that stuff, revising my resume. I just shot out, oh. I, I threw out my resume out there. Companies got back to me. I just started interviewing. Do you have any tips? Start early, especially this year. It was a lot better for me. I think because I'm a junior and that's when companies really like to recruit. But also, since I started early, I think I heard back a lot more from companies and also I felt more prepared because last year I didn't start that early. But I didn't feel as prepared and I wasn't as experienced with the interview process and everything. So make sure you practice interviewing and also, when you start out interviewing, you should do it with companies that you're not that interested in joining. I did that with one company and I was just like, okay, whatever, but I still tried my best. It was a good experience, even though it went kind of bad, but I knew what to focus on after. Ah, that's smart. Yeah, so have a few like trial interviews, but that are still real interviews. From what I can see, computer science recruiting season is super, super early. Even this summer of her internship and her friend's internships, they were already recruiting for the next next summer's internship. Yes. Any decent unsaturated jobs that you recommend in the CS field? I guess it's not really like not that many people want that job, but they just hire less people. Those would be startup companies, maybe like less than 10 interns, depending on the stage that the startup is in. It's a startup, so they really just want to build what they're working on right now. They're more likely to hire you because you're like talent. Big companies, so many people apply. Startups tend to hire like later too. Once all the other big tech companies are like done hiring, you still can apply to these startups and you have a high chance of getting hired. How's the money? <laughs> money. It's pretty good. Not gonna brag, but when I compare it to Amy, I'm like, that's better. <laughs> Thank Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Wow. Me all you want, okay? I mean, I'm just gonna be honest, right? Like the tech industry is very good right now. I mean, not right now, right now, because it's like <laughs> actually going down. But um, <laughs> it'll go back up like stocks, you know? At least I hope so. I don't know how stocks work. Yeah, they do. I see that. Anyway, there's so much high demand. It's like super easy, right? Like literally all you need is a computer and you just code software. It requires no resources, I would say, because you're literally just coding, right? Like for hardware, you need all of the materials and stuff that you need to pay for. But like software engineering is literally you write something up and then you sell it. It's so simple. You can literally do anything with it. The money is very good because all these tech companies are getting paid so much. For example, Google, 
Microsoft, LinkedIn, all these places, they can hire so many people. And they also have so many good benefits too. Like on top of the money, I'm gonna get free breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They give me corporate housing for the summer so I don't have to look for it again. They also have like bikes and gyms. They support wow. you so much. It is like pretty annoying with debugging and everything. So they really want you to have a good work environment so that you don't get burnt out because these people are all very good talent. That's why they pay them so much as well. Mm, they wanna keep you guys happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that's so nice. Every time I hear about their companies, I'm just like, dang, we get $30 for dinner if we work past 8 p.m. They also get gym reimbursements, and I'm just like, I wish I knew this earlier because at the end of the day, it's still a job, right? And if you can get more perks from it, then pretty cool yeah one other thing i just want to mention is like not all companies are like this it's probably mainly for big tech that they'll be able to give you such big perks because they have a campus and like so many people at the same time other tech companies also like pay very well i'm just saying like in addition to that some bigger companies will add on those extra perks too mm. but your boyfriend actually had some decent perks right the other thing is that startups will also most of the time have more perks for you too because from what i heard they want to spend more of their money like funding i heard that like they burn through it really quickly because they spend a lot of it on unnecessary things don't quote me on this this is all i've heard from other people i'm not sure if it's true that's what i've heard people will get perks from that too <laughs> because they're startups no one asked this specifically which i'm surprised about but can you reveal how much you're making Sure. There's levels.fyi. Actually, I'll give a range. My internships have been 45 to 55 an hour. Ooh. That's more than double of what I got in my internships. Not just that, I got housing stipend from Khan Academy. They gave us lunch every day and they covered my travel costs. Ooh. Sorry, I was about to burp. Um, <laughs> same thing for LinkedIn, but they're gonna give me breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Corporate housing, which is very nice. It's very expensive in the Bay. Flying to and from your internship, they'll cover. Yeah, ah. and the Ubers to and from the office. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. If I could whistle, I would do that. So that's just like software engineering. Apparently a lot of companies this year upped their salaries. A lot of my friends are going to trading firms this next summer. My friends actual offers were from 80 to 140 an hour. They also had like signing bonuses, only 10 to 15, why did I say only? only? Sorry, 10 to 15 K, K for a freaking summer. I think if you look at the total compensation for the entire summer, I think the highest I've seen is like 50 K for a summer. That's only only three months. And you know how many months are in a year? 12. So 12 divided by three is four. And that means four times 50. It's 200K you're already making. Well, okay, you haven't really made that, but like <laughs> you are basically making that rate as a college student, undergrad. Yeah, that's insane. I barely scraped 10K for one summer of internship and they're getting 10K as a bonus. From <sighs> signing. How about ranges for big tech internships? I think it depends. Like I said, Amazon was like 60 an hour. Apparently Google does a bit less than what you would expect because it's like a big name. They're like, oh, okay, like we don't have to pay you as much mm. because we know you are already getting a big name. But still, it's probably like around 50 an hour. Microsoft apparently is also a bit lower than LinkedIn from what I've heard. Netflix pays the most apparently. Ooh. I don't know how much it is, but apparently it's the most out of Fang or Ming. Uh... <laughs> Meta, we're not gonna talk about that because playoffs. Also, big tech isn't just like Fang, Ming, Microsoft, LinkedIn, blah, blah, blah. What about startups? I was just about to say that. Oh my gosh. Startups, only two people I know of have been like associated with startups and they're 40 to 50 an hour. But also like one of my friends working at a pretty big company, it's not a startup. They're only like 35 an hour. It varies. Do you know anything about full-time offers? For trading firms, it's probably like, 300 to 400k total compensation based on like bonuses and if your company does really well trading firms have a lot of money maybe on average total compensation for tech companies 120k to 200k i would say average is definitely six figures out of graduating and also even when i was a sophomore at caltech that was 
three years ago. My acquaintance two years above me got an offer at Google for half a million dollars. And he turned it down to work at a startup. From what I've heard, if you have like two or more competing offers for like big tech, they'll like keep trying to outcompete each other. I was talking to my friend and he's going to a trading firm like after graduating already, like he already got the offer because he did an internship there. They gave him the internship offer and full time. And then I was like, oh wait, what about like software engineering? He was like, I think it's only like 400K. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> only 400K? Only 400K. I think another friend, it was like 300 negotiating to 350. I feel like they have a whole different scale that they're basing their pay off of because to me I'm like oh 300k I'm gonna snap that baby right up already but then they just have so much confidence in their value you can just negotiate for more I would be afraid to personally but I don't know how it works in that industry because when I was like younger or like when I didn't go to Caltech if I heard 200k like coming out of graduating I would be like what but i think like we in a way have become desensitized to the amount of money that we're getting because even if i say like low 100k is like not that great for cs out of graduating even though that's like really good i know for other jobs it's like yeah. a lot less 36 figures yeah but even if i'm saying low 100k uh -huh. i'm like Wait, 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 no, but if you're getting like six figures regardless, like out of grad, like that's really good. If they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. At least being in Caltech's environment, you hear so many goaded people getting all these goaded offers in that sense, desensitized. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also again, money is not everything. Not about the money, money, money. We don't want your money, money, money. Also for internships, the experiences you get. Last year, I had a really great experience. I don't care about how much money I got, even though it was great. Like I gained a lot of good experiences that led me to the next one. And it's gonna lead me to the next one. Yeah. Was the degree worth it? Is it worth it? You're still in it. To be honest, I don't know how important the degree is. Honestly, I know some people, they're like not doing CS majors, yet they still apply to do software engineering. And some people who are CS majors do other internships. As long as you like get that experience, the major doesn't really matter. But since I am in CS doing CSE stuff as software engineering, I would say it's worth it. A degree doesn't mean success, you know? It's not like you have to follow this predetermined path. Of course it helps, to like at least start in it. For example, your value, your skill. So they don't need to see your degree, right? They'll just mm. like want you and they can train you when you're at that company. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Angel. Thanks so much for sharing your wisdom with you and hopefully you found this helpful. You can message me or leave comments on this video if you have more questions or if you disagree with anything I said because the discussion helps everyone. And if you would like to watch another one of our interviews about Angel's first term, very difficult term at Caltech, then click over here. Mm, right there. <laughs> it's gonna be right here. Oh, oh. Here? Yes. Wait, why here? You'll see. Bye! Bye! Bye.